This video is a how-to of installing the uh, Fitzy Indian Starter Kit. This is a 47 Chief, stock standard, 80 cubic inch. These are the tools you'll need and that's the starter kit at the top of the frame. Selection of bring spanners, sockets. Step one, you take the old battery out, remove the frog. Now we have to strip everything off this side of the bike around the drive chain. You'll see from this what's required to be done. We're removing an exhaust pipe. Kickstarter, chain guard, brake light switch. We also need to remove the support bolts for the rear mud guard, which for the ease of installation will need to be rotated out of the way. We're also removing the battery case in the chassis. The old battery case comes out and we slice off the part of it that bolts the mud guard to the chassis, which we're going to reuse. The other bit can be tossed. This is the starter kit. We now have to disassemble it so that we're left with just the chassis. There's two sets of bolts with the starter kit, a long set and a short set. The long set go on the rear part back to the mud guard. Install the rear ones first. <laughs> we don't tighten it up at this stage. Next we put the starter motor in bolt it into place. This bolt that I'm showing you now has a eccentric washer. That is the chain tightening washer. Don't tighten that up yet. Next, we are going to grind down the main shaft 
main drive shaft to extend the flats all the way back to the drive sprocket. In this video you're seeing me do one side, the other side I've already done. Fairly simple job to do, you've just got to watch the uh, flat section and just keep it parallel and the same width. Then the sprag clutch should slip in and go all the way back and rotate anti-clockwise if it's on the right way. We need a smear of grease on the back and there's a spatial washer that goes in there. Make sure the space washer is in place when you put the sprag gear on. When fitting the flywheel you just you'll see that we snap it back into place there once it's engaged with the starter motor gear. And there's your rocking and the eccentric gets I put a, a wedge in there to give it a bit of tension on the chain. I start off with the chain quite tight because after the first run you'll find that it will loosen slightly. Rotate the eccentric washer down into place to take up the slack and then tighten the bolt up. Now that that's done and the chain's tensioned, we tighten up the mounting bolts for the starter chassis. Start with the drive side first. Now the rear side, you're supplied with some slotted washers, which are used to fill up the gaps uh, depending on the chassis. What we find is not all chassis are the same, so you have a number of spaces that you can put in to take up the, the gaps. The battery carrier that's supplied mounts off the primary case and clamps onto the chassis. The earth lead for the battery can be installed at this stage with the earth terminal bolted onto the primary case nut at the rear.
you must use the heavy duty cables that come with it for the battery. The standard earthing cable on the Indian will not carry the 100 amp plus current from the starter motor. Now we're going to install the push button starter switch and the battery cables. Depending whether your left hand throttle or right hand throttle. So if your left hand throttle, this will go on the right hand side of the bike and vice versa. Some people may want to put an extra horn button on the handlebars and wire the starter switch to the horn button. It's not an earthing switch, it's a live cable to and from, from the fused supply to the solenoid terminal on the starter motor. plenty of cable supplies so just cut it to the length that suits you. Once this part's done, then I go around and tighten up all the rear guard bolts. Put that cable at its original length in case the new owner wants to put the starter switch somewhere else. You connect the hot wire into the fused for the battery. Here's a close up of the finished installation. The heavy duty leads for the starter motor and the original wiring for the Indian itself. Now to fit the Kickstarter. These still show the before and after dimensions of the two components that need to be machined down. If you're not confident to do these, if you post those two pieces to me, I'll machine them and send them back with the kit. You also have to cut down the Kickstarter stop, which has got to clear the chain before and after shot. So we have the wafer spring for the Kickstarter gear. some Loctite on that nut as well. 
because there's no lock washer. Once that's tightened up, your kickstarter gear should rotate. As shown. The centre springs spring stand which came out originally can go back on now. Now before we cover it up, we'll give it a little test run. That looks good. Now the chain guard, which has to be extended out on the two mounting points on the gearbox. These show the dimensions that you should end up with once you've done it. Once that's done, we can now refit everything on the side of the bike that we took off from the first step. Washer that goes behind the exhaust pipe now. Now we give it a run.